like Martin Sturzer level live performance here. <laughs> I love it, man. Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> Anomaly 3, y'all. What can I say? <laughs> What's up guys, Chris here from Science of Life. Welcome back to the channel and in today's video, we are gonna build an ambient track from scratch using some of the sounds and presets from Anomaly 3. I know a lot of you have purchased Anomaly 3 over the past couple of days, thank you so much. And I'm really excited to hear that you guys are loving the sound set and making tracks with it already. So I thought I would just sort of come on here and build a track from scratch uh, so you guys can get a better handle on Anomaly 3 and maybe show you some of the nuances and some of the best parts of the sound set. Uh, so that's the game plan here today. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Now feel free to follow along in any other DAW of your choice. Uh, this is just Logic, I happen to be using this today. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. What I like to do in Logic is just go ahead and duplicate the track a bunch of times. Uh, so we have a bunch of tracks that I already have on my MIDI assignments already set. And uh, by MIDI assignments, I mean it has all of the send effects already uh, mapped out. So let's go ahead and just grab an instance of Vital here. And we'll go ahead and pull this in. And I just, I've, I've installed Anomaly 3 on this machine. So I created it on my other machine. And so what I like to do is come over here and just look and organize the presets by name. And what I've tried to do with Anomaly 3 is give you a really good palette to start from. So like all of the presets are like designed. So you just like can just you know, it's like a treasure trove. Like you just start at one and go, or you can kind of have a game plan. So there's enough bases, leads, pads, uh, percussion sounds, plucks, soundscapes, whatever you want. So where I thought we'd start today is uh, with a soundscape called Temple of the Void. Um, I love the soundscape. And uh, what I like to do, uh, when I was talking about this on Instagram the other day was one of the best parts I feel of this sound set uh, is in the lower registers. Meaning that if you play like a really low note, sometimes you're gonna get some timbres that like, you know, are like hidden. They're like a lot of hidden textures and timbres here in this sound set. So I'm gonna go ahead and play a note here. Uh, this is a low E. So you can follow along at home if you want. And that's good. Uh, but what I'm gonna do is because I know that I wanna use my own delay and reverb, you can come over here and just turn off the mix on the uh, delay and turn off the mix and the reverb. And what I also like to do is adjust the filters. So like if it's a little too much high end, you can just come here and just kind of adjust the filter. Some of the, the uh, mod wheel assignments have are attached to the filters. But now if I play that same note in here, it's dry, but we're getting different parts of the frequency spectrum, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and add the delay and reverb back. So we'll go ahead. This is Valhalla delay and Valhalla room here. So now let's listen to it. That's good, I like that. And what you can also do is add your own LFO assignments if you want. Like there's still plenty of room to grow with these presets, you know, you can modify them any way you want. So I'll go ahead and put this to sync and we'll make this a four over one LFO. So I'll just scroll down to four over one like that. Um, there we go. And we'll attach this to the notch filter right here and then I'll put it in reverse, meaning I'm gonna take the filter cut off and put its influence from where it is downwards. So now when I play that same note, you can hear it's kind of scanning through some of those lower notes, you hear that? So instead of having the position of the filter where it was by default, I'm now scanning through some of those lower frequencies. And you can hear because it's on a sample and hold from random three, like, it's snapping back into the higher frequencies too. Like, I love that stuff. Like that, that's what I'm talking about when I say like hidden tones, right? Like there's <laughs> hidden parts of Anomaly 3 that it's all there for you. And that's the beauty of starting with a preset is that, you know, it could be the starting uh, sound and then you can take it any direction that you want to. So that's exactly what we did. So anyway, uh, in Logic, let's go ahead and just create a MIDI region. And I'm gonna drag this out to 32 bars. 
And then I'll come down here and I will look to see what my note is. So I can go ahead and just, you know, hit the pencil tool and uh, draw that in if I want. And we'll go ahead and zoom out here. There we go. So we got a 32 bar. We can go ahead and hit the velocity tool by hitting TV. And we can go ahead and adjust the velocity if we want. Um, velocity right around 90 looks good to me. So let's go ahead and just play this. Open up vital again, and we've got a good start. Now we've got a, you know, a nice sound to imagine what's next, right? And that's what the soundscapes are. They are basically your, your bass frequency. Uh, or they could be the whole sound, I mean, really. Like, so there's a lot of different ways. You could you know, add some macros here. Oh, it's beautiful. A lot of the presets have signature macros, so meaning that they have, they're like named after the preset themselves. I really tried to put a lot of love into the macros. Oh yeah, that's great. I love that, oh my God, <laughs> fantastic. All right, cool. So we're off to a good start. Let's go ahead and name the track by double clicking on it. Let's call it Temple of the Void. All right, good. And now what we're gonna do is let's pause and what do you want to do next? <laughs> That's always the question, right? I think where we're going to go is we're going to add a second track here. And let's go ahead and just add Vital again. And what I like to do is put a contrasting pad here against that um, that soundscape and then see, you know, how it sounds together. So again, I'll organize my name here and we'll choose, um, let's choose boundary line. That might be a good one. So I'm going to go ahead and move my octave way higher, like two or three octaves higher playing an E minor again, just so you know. Let's go ahead and we'll actually make this a loop here. So we'll turn on the uh, loop and we'll go ahead and hit play. And now we'll hit boundary line over the top of Temple of the Void. You hear that? That sounds good to me. I like that. Now what's interesting about boundary line is this is one of the one presets um, where I really wanted to get experimental with it. And what I did was I created a series of envelopes. And so like each envelope drives uh, the different oscillators. And so like they're in envelope mode. So you kind of got to like, you play it once and it runs through a cycle, but then it dies, right? It like falls away, which is kind of interesting, right? So it's more of a playable preset that you're going to interactively play and, you know, do different things. So again, we can do the same thing, uh, cut off the uh, delay and reverb and add our own here. So we'll go ahead and do that. And I do this just because I love the sound of the Valhalla's. They're so powerful. We got our MIDI already, so like that's good. I like this. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what we came up with here. Um, I'll go ahead and zoom in. I I'm definitely not as fast in Logic yet as I am in Ableton, but you know, I try. Uh, all right, so let's go ahead and uh, there we go. We'll extend this out. This is good. This is good. I like these notes. All right, it's good. Uh huh. Yeah. And I played it really well. So like, it's not like you know, like it's, it's that far off. Um, yeah, that's great. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit play here. 
we'll lower this track down even further. volume a little bit. Oh, that's gorgeous. I love it. We can extend the length of this uh, mini clip out if we want. All right. This is sounding good to me. Like, I like this. I like where we're going with it. I like the vibe. If you want to, you can go ahead and just extend this out because it's already a loop. Like, It's a nice opening pad. We'll call it boundary line. And with two pads, you see that like we already got something really good started. Like I like where this is headed. Just volume a little bit. And what I would do is at this point, I would put in a pad that sort of connects to that boundary line, right? So I'll come in here and I'll grab Vital once again. And we're just gonna do a Anomaly 3 special here, right? So I'll go ahead and grab Vital again, and we'll grab another pad, maybe like uh, Stellar Voyage or something, and make it really minimal. So by minimal, I mean like minimal notes that are gonna be added. So what we'll do is we'll move the MIDI region forward, and um, we'll go ahead and just add something in here. Right, that has a different feeling. It's got a different energy. It's completely separated. I love that. I love that. And that's again, that's Stellar Voyage, right? And the reason why it has, I chose this one, and it has a different, you know, texture to it, is because it has this comb filter, and that comb filter, even though. You can like chop it off with the EQ. It still sounds like it's got some sparkle to it or something. Like it's nice. I love that. I love that. All right, so let's go ahead and take the delay and reverb out. And we'll go ahead and add back our own. Again, I do this because um, I just like the sound, but the the reverb and delay have been like in the in the default presets have been carefully thought over, trust me. So I've really, I've really taken a lot of time uh, to dial that in. Go ahead, create meter region, and we'll go ahead and extend this out. And let's go ahead and draw in some notes here using our pencil tool. So we'll go ahead and zoom in. All right. And there we go. Very nice. Pencil tool. All right. Very good. So that's going to be our connecting pad, right? And you can also come here, because we're in Logic, what you can also do is say to yourself, all right, well, you know, we've got a really nice channel strip EQ, and I love this channel strip EQ. It's like, it's like fab filter good. Like, it's good. I like having it on board. It's like saying to myself, all right, well, for six. Maybe get a gentle lift over here. There we go. There you go. Very nice. So you see that I'm making quick work of this. But it's just giving it a little bit of a you know, more sparkle and shine, right? Nice. Nice. All right, we'll call this Stellar Voyage. Excellent. 
turn it down a little bit. And now the fun part begins. So now that we have this connecting pad, right? And again, they could repeat or do, you know, I'm just gonna let this play on a loop here. But what you can do is now you can come in and say, all right, it's sequence time. And what I like to do is I like to add some of these plucks in a really slow way. So we can go ahead and adjust the tempo here. Let's go ahead and adjust the tempo and make it like 84 beats per minute. And under MIDI effects, what we can do is add the audio units, uh, device meister stepic, right? So we'll just come here, add an instance of stepic, and we'll choose E3 here and make it natural minor, okay? And there we go, and we'll make it eight steps. And we'll just do our classic, you know, like classic little pluck thing. And Anomaly 3 comes with a lot of these plucks are like, they're good from the moment you press play, right? So that's, that's how I want it for you guys. It's just like, okay, I, I need plucks, I need something, I need a sequence, right? Just go ahead, grab it, uh, make it happen. So let's go ahead and just go at Anomaly 3, and we'll pick one of the plucks. Um, you know, it could be the Chosen 2. The Gate of Solitude is always good, so we'll choose the Gate of Solitude. And yeah, let's go ahead and just hear what this sounds like. I'm gonna go ahead and add a healthy dose of delay from the very start. Um, you can either take, the delay is at minimal on these plucks, so it won't make that much of a difference. But let's go ahead and listen to what it sounds like. Nice. Now, what you can also do is look to see where you want that LFO assignment to fall. So like, what I mean by that is, the LFO right now is moving the filter cutoff up and down, right? But maybe the combination of the different influences on the filter the velocity combined with the mod wheel and alpha one. I mean, all of it's going in there, right? So what you can do is, is you can say, all right, cool. Let's lower that influence down and we're gonna move it down. So it still moves up and down, but we're gonna limit the amount that it does, okay? So it gives you a kind of a darker plug, right? That's good. Right there, yeah. Because this LFO one is like pinging it every single time. And now, if I solo that, You hear it? It's like growing. But when it falls away, it's still got this beautiful timbre to it. That's that's why I did this. Because I was like, okay, with just a couple subtle tweaks, these presets can be all that you need. And that's like, it saved you so much time, right? It's like, oh my God, like saves you so much time and then you're right in the mix and you're making tracks. Perfect. I love it. All right, so from stepping, simple stuff, right? We can adjust the velocity to make it intentional. Okay, so we can hold sh uh, shift here. And then drag the velocity up. Okay. And by holding shift, you just drag, you just kind of let your mouse just kind of move over the notes here and it, it changes it for you. It's so much faster. Okay, cool. Excellent. And then we can grab eight bars of this and go ahead and drag it in. And we'll drag it and we'll end it right here. Great. And now this is gonna connect. So once you turn off stepping, it's gonna stop playback until you get to the MIDI region that we selected, or we created rather. Right there. You see? 
<laughs> yeah. All right. Cool. Now, again, because your logic, this is the soundscape. We're going back to the soundscape here. Again, this could be any, you know, it could be your channel, strip you, whatever you got. Shape the tone a little bit here. Oh, this is good. This is great. Wow. Loving this. So good. Add a little reverb here. To the block. Nice. You can see the velocity is customly set here. Great. Loving it. Now, uh, let's go ahead and name that. That was the chosen, right? Oh, the Gate of Solitude, yes. Okay, so the Gate of Solitude. Okay. And now, let's add one of those leads. Now, what is a lead? When some people think of a lead, they think of like acid lead or thinking of like a really like bright, sorry kind of thing. And in Anomaly 3, a lead is like a playable thing. So like you play it on the keyboard, right? It's... It's something that I want you to experience, like, legit, just like, your own musical interpretation on top of whatever you create. So, I'm gonna put this in record mode, and I'm just gonna listen to it in the default state. And again, I think I just chose Cosmic Sequence, one of my favorites. Martin Sturzer level live performance here. <laughs> I love it, man. Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> Anomaly 3, y'all. What can I say? <laughs> That's good stuff. All right, so tell me I saved that. Tell me I saved that. That was perfect. Let's see how much... Oh, yeah. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. So I guess it continued over. Uh, we go ahead and drag this like that. Nice. I mean, yeah, you can clean up some of the video here, but like... Cool. It captured the essence of that performance. Wow. I like it, man. Is that low uh, E? Yeah, it's a low E. That's why I hit that low E. Ooh, yeah! Because what happens is is on a lead like this, just to kind of give you guys another hidden tip with Anomaly, is that if you look at some of the sample, uh, like, not buttons here, if it's, if this keyboard is lit up, that means that it's gonna pitch lock to anything you play. So, like, the sample's gonna be pitched down when you play it lower, it's gonna be pitched higher when you play it higher, and what that does is it changes the way the sample comes across every single time. And on a lead, 
that's really interesting because you can be jamming like up on the high end and then hit a low tone and then get all these different textures that like come in after the fact. So cool. Oh, I love it. I love it. Wow. Oh, we got some automation happening here. I don't know how I did that. Maybe I recorded automation. I don't know. <laughs> what can I say? All right. Well, <laughs> I'll go figure that one out. Either way, this was awesome. I hope that this was inspiring and informative for you and that it really gave you a sense of what Anomaly 3 is capable of. I put a lot of love and time and energy into these presets and I hope that they continue to show you the pathway forward, whatever you're doing, whether you're making ambient, chill ambient, dark drone, um, whatever type of music that you make, I think there's something for everyone in Anomaly 3 and, you know, Vital as a synthesizer and as a platform isn't done. Even the creator, Matt, came out today on his own forum and said, I'm still working on this synth. So this is a moment in time. And, uh, you know, we're here and Anomaly 3 is a thing. And I encourage you to check it out and make some of your own tracks. And, you know, if you got something really good, let me know. Show it to us. Show the world. Like, making music, have fun. That's what it's all about. Anyway, I'll be back again soon with more ambient tutorials just like this one. And uh, yeah, you guys take care, all right? Uh, if you wanna have more tutorials just like this, be sure to check me out on Patreon. I do tutorials like this every single week. It's a joy and always a pleasure, never a chore. All right, guys, I'm gonna get out of here. So as always, your heads in the clouds and your feet planted firmly on the ground. My name is Chris from Signs of Life, and I'll see you guys in the next one.